Hey guys, what about Bambi TV? So today we're checking out one of the recommendations. Guys, today we're checking out from the glamorous life of Hollywood to Islam. Guys, this is going to be my first time checking this out in my entire life, guys. Guys, please, if you're new here, please to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this. This story, like every other revert story, is unique and demonstrates many things Allah has promised us. Indeed, hmm. none of his promises will go unfulfilled. This video tells the revert story of former Hollywood rising star, Jamie Brown, who left all the glamorous and equally high-paying Hollywood lifestyle to revert to Islam. What happened? How did it happen? Stick around as we bring you the details. Who is Jamie Brown? Jamie Brown hmm was born and raised in a Catholic family in Kenosha, Wisconsin, in the US. As a devout Catholic family, attending Mass every week is compulsory, and this Jamie did without question in her early years. As she grew up and got to the age where she could analyze things rather than just obey orders, she started questioning her religion and the religious movement her family had participated in for generations. She would ride her bike to the library to read books about religions, Christian denominations, etc. She never came across any book about Islam during this time. The quest to get answers led her to attend Mormon seminary with her best friend every morning before school. For those who have no idea what the Mormon church is, it is a Christian-like movement that believes in the crucifixion of Jesus, the Trinity as separate entities, and that more prophets came after Jesus. They use the Mormon Bible, which they believe is the unaltered Word of God, alongside the Christian Bible. Jamie's quest for answers didn't stop there. At one point, she used to sleep over at another best friend's house on Saturdays so she could attend the Methodist Movement Church with the family on Sundays, where she got baptized. Although she didn't get the right answers she dearly needed, she remained a Christian until adulthood, attending a non-denominational church. This is a case of stick with what you have if you don't get a better alternative. The Journey to Hollywood Jamie, being an art enthusiast, moved to Hollywood in California after graduating from college to work as a stylist to Hollywood celebrities. During this time, she was paying attention and learning about production. In no time, she became outstanding in the process and started working as a production staff in movies, TV series and music videos. Eventually, Jamie went on to work on the set of many motion pictures. She was on a fast trajectory, already living in Beverly Hills and driving a Jaguar at the time. There seemed to be no stopping to the Hollywood lifestyle and the probability of attaining the peak of Hollywood career. Many times we make plans, we work hard for the things we think we want, without factoring destiny, the divine direction which is the most important pen that maps out our lives. While working on the set of an HBO television series, Jamie observed that a particular colleague would leave every Friday afternoon for Juma prayer. It was later she found out the colleague was a Muslim. Naturally, the Christian instinct kicked in. She invited him to her church. She found it unexpected when he turned down the invitation, primarily because most people don't turn down church invitations. Despite underplaying the invitation, she was surprised the colleague was adamant. The experience she had with him piqued her interest to know why exactly this guy was so engrossed in his religion that he refused an invitation to her church from her. The Journey to Islam Prior to this time, her only exposure to Islam was the usual negativity spread on TVs and other media outlets. She was curious to know what exactly is Islam all about. Then she asked her colleague to lend her his book, The Holy Quran, 
with the intention to find loopholes she could use to discredit the religion to the friend. So she started reading. Reading the first few pages, she was surprised the Quran was similar in content to the Bible. So she became more interested. She became so engrossed with the Quran that she read it everywhere. She was constantly wandering around, finding herself in different places with the Quran in her hand and just a backpack with her. Each time she read the Quran, she felt a subtle voice was telling her to revert to Islam. Eventually, the voice became very consistent and louder. At this point, she figured she had to move to leave the Hollywood lifestyle behind, to follow this new path she was being directed to go. Then it happened. One day in 2010, Jamie, in her mid-twenties at the time, woke up, packed a suitcase and made an unannounced hijrah to Morocco. She was asked by many people what convinced her to make the trip from a developed country with a good life to a developing country that has no assurance for her? She had no answers to their questions, but she knew she needed to move out of Hollywood to a Muslim country where she would be in the proper gathering. She knew many of her friends and acquaintances wouldn't understand the rationale behind her decision. So, to save herself the stress of debating what she had already decided on, she left without informing anyone. Taking the Shahada in Morocco Shortly after Jamie arrived in Morocco, she was filled with the urge to set the ball rolling, but was held back by the need to finish reading the Quran. According to her, to avoid surprises that might affect her faith, she didn't want to read some things she would disagree with later. Immediately after she finished reading the Quran, she took the Shahada in Morocco. She lived in Morocco for five years before she moved back to the US. Life after becoming a Muslim Jamie's five years in Morocco weren't all rosy. Some of the many problems she encountered during her early days were accommodation and the language barrier. She learned Moroccan Arabic by immersion, writing down new words she learned every day. Though her background in styling, she started giving haircuts and doing graphics design to generate income. In 2015, Jamie moved back to the United States, establishing her base in her hometown in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Jamie continued as a graphics designer and also took up painting a skill she could not use while in Morocco due to the scarcity and cost of painting materials. While surfing only one day, she came across world-renowned calligraphy and light artist Karim Jabari, whom she exchanged a few messages with and ended up becoming his virtual manager when she found out his manager had just resigned to raise a family. Gradually, she developed an interest in mural painting and did some projects with Jabari. Within a short time, Jamie herself became an internationally acclaimed mural artist, traveling across the globe to do murals. Jamie enjoys unspoken da'wah and has displaced this through her works. She is an avid advocate of hijab rights. May Allah continue to guide her and keep her steadfast in her faith. Thank you brothers and sisters for watching this video, I hope you liked it, make sure to like, subscribe and support us on Patreon, the link is in the description below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh. Guys, this is amazing, like I can tell you, like I love the story, like her intentions. The fact she was being anxious, like she felt as if she understand her religion, but she, 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 she saw that she wanted something. Like she went and said, she's unique. I, I loved the story, like the fact that she, she found peace in Islam, like it's beautiful. Like I love when people do things because they want to do it, not because they are told to do it. It's just 
so amazing that kind of internal peace you having that realization is just something you can trade for anything guys you understanding why you're doing something you're doing it for yourself and i believe she had that and it made the story so unique guys guys please if you want to see amazing stuff like this please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you next time guys please